Welcome. Thank you for listening to this broadcast. I'm Sue Jackson. Stay blessed as I share the word of God with you people. As I take my text from the book of Psalms, chapter 139, as I begin to read from verse 1. Oh Lord, you have searched me and know me. You have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You design my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my lips, you know it completely. Oh Lord, you help me, me in, behind and before. You have laid your hands upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is the Lord that gives knowledge. Too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. Brethren, there is nowhere we can hide from God. Is omnipotent, omnipresent. It's present everywhere at every time. He knows all things. He's the all knowing God. Where can we hide from the presence of God? If I rise on the wings of the down, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me. And the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day. For darkness is as light to you. So there is nowhere we can hide from this God. He is almighty. He is the king of kings. He said, be not deceived. Whatsoever a man sow, that shall he reap. You show, if you sow evil, you will reap evil. If you sow good, you will definitely reap good. Whatsoever a man sow, that shall he reap. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's praise God because He made us fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden for me when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depth of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me we are written in your books. Before one of them came back, how precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them were I to count them they would outnumber the grains of the sand when I awake I am still with you if only you would slay the wicked oh God away from me you blood testament they speak of you 
with evil intent. Your adversary misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? And about those who rise up against you, I have nothing but hatred for them. I can't stand my enemies. Touch me, O God. Know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me. And lead me in the path of everlasting. Touch me, O Lord. You know my ways all together. See if there is any iniquity in me. Brethren, let's seek the Lord. We can't run away from the presence of the Lord. Come unto the Lord. Say, come unto me, he that heavy laden. I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Call upon the name of the Lord and you will be saved. The woman with the issue of blood. I've got the issue of blood over 12 years. This woman was bleeding. For 12 years. And she heard. That Jesus was passing by. She pressed through the crowd. Even though people were. Trying to stop her. She managed to touch the hem of Jesus' garment. And was made whole. Immediately. Jesus sends. That somebody touch him. Ask his disciple, who touched me? His disciple was saying, Master, see all these people around you, you are asking who touched you. He said, somebody touched me. The woman then now came out and declared, she declared that, I touched you. And immediately the woman was made whole. The same to blind Bartimaeus. He heard that Jesus was passing by. She shouted aloud with a very loud voice. Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. Have mercy on me. People we are shutting him down. Shut your mouth. But he was shouting persistently until Jesus heard him and came to his rescue. When you call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. Your burden will be rolled away. He will make your garment white as snow. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Where can we hide from the presence of God? For whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Call upon the name of the Lord. He will save you from all your troubles. He will save you. He will save you. Jesus was passing by. And then we are passing, going to bury a man in a coffin. Jesus touched the coffin. The man arose from the coffin. The man, the man who was dead was arrived again. When you call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is saved. I admonish you, I encourage you, my brethren. Trust in the Lord 
Those that trust in the Lord shall not be put to shame. Said those that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion, which shall not be moved, but abide forever. When you trust in the Lord, you shall not be moved. You shall not be put to shame. The Lord will make you a wonder unto many. As I proclaim the word of God to you today. Call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. I'm C. Jackson. Hope you have been blessed with this exhortation. Call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Tablet. Cheers.